Okay, this video is part three in our series on using Motion Builder to combine Mixamo animations for use in virtual production in Unreal Engine. And at this point, we already have several animations from Mixamo blended together into a nice long form where the robot walks for a distance, falls, and then gets back up. So now we want to put this to use in Unreal Engine. So the first thing that we really need to do is make sure that this animation gets baked or plotted onto the joint system skeleton of the character. Right now it lives on the story line or story mode, but it hasn't been actually plotted or baked onto the rotations of the joints. And it is the rotations of the joints that Unreal Engine would actually be using for its animation. So to do that, all we have to do is go ahead to our little character controls up here, drop down, bake plot, and bake plot to skeleton. So we go ahead and do that. And now all of the rotations of the skeleton have been baked onto that and they are ready to use in Unreal Engine. So let's go ahead and file save as. I'm going to save this as uh, walk fall story version 2 and save. And we do want to right click and make sure save all animations. And we take one as our case here. That's checked, save, and let's go over to Unreal Engine and put this to use. So we'll go over here to the scene in Unreal Engine. I'll create a folder to hold all of our YBOT stuff. So right click in the content area, new folder. I'll call that YBOT and double click. And then I'll want to import the FBX T pose first. So I'm going to, in this case, I'm just going to click here, go to my Mixamo files, select my YBOT character and drag and drop that in here because I know that's in a T-pose. We're going to import the skeletal mesh. Yes, we are going to import the mesh and everything else we can leave default. So we'll go ahead and import that. This will break up the FBX files into its various components, including the materials, the skeleton. There'll be some warnings. These are fine. We can say okay to that. And so we have a physics asset. We've got the skeleton and the materials on this uh, skeletal mesh. And so I can drag and drop this character as an actor now in the scene. So there's that. And now we just need to bring in the animation and have it play out. So I'll right click. Actually, I'm just gonna go back to my browser here. And here's my YBOT walk fall story version two. We'll drag that FBX in. And this time we want it to be a little bit different. We do not need to import the mesh. So we do want it as a skeletal mesh, but we're going to uncheck import mesh. And then what we'll have is this is our one skeleton that is in this level right now. It should, oh, I actually have metahumans, but this uh, identified the matching skeleton by name. And we want the animation length to be by the animated time. We, you know, you might not see all of these controls. This is just a little advanced tab that opened up, I'm leaving everything set to the defaults. If you want to uh, make sure you have the defaults, you can always hit reset to default. And now we're all set, so we'll go ahead and import this. And since the import mesh was unchecked, we just get an animation. Didn't really change anything here. All right, so to see the animation play out on the character in the level, we just need a level sequence. So I'll right click, animation, and find level sequence. And I'll give this a name, YBOT fall. We'll double click to open the sequence. Now I have sequencer docked right here in the same panel as my content browser. If you double click a sequence, you might just get a, uh, a floating window. Let me see if I can get this to float. Here we are. A lot of times you'll get it as a uh, floating window. If you want to dock it like I did down here with the content browser, just click on the tab and drag that to whichever panel that you want this to dock to. I'm going to go here to the right side of next to my content browser. And so here it is. All right, the actor is selected in the level. So now I can add a track for it. Choose actor to sequencer. And since it's selected, add to YBOT is right here. And now we have an animation track. So we can just drag and drop the animation into that. And we're almost there. Uh, I, can, I can hit play and we have a couple things to take care of. One is 
you know, he's going to walk right into the wall. That's not going to be any good. And also, we didn't have enough length in our animation to get all the way to the end. So let's fix those things. Go back to the beginning, select the actor. I'm just going to rotate, tap E, turn him around, W, push him back, and go here. And we want to make this longer. Uh, if I go back to Motion Builder here, we can see we have 438 frames. Going back to Unreal, I'm just going to display that. 438 down here. All right. I'll just drag the end of our animation out to that. And now we should be ready to play. And there we go. There is our animated Mixamo character, long form, lots of videos combined. And we are ready to render that. Hope this helps. Until next time, have fun.